Welcome to my video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Hylian. What's that, Dr. Evil? You say Hylian can make you a millionaire? Uh, don't listen to him. He's not a financial advisor and having Dr. Having Evil in his name doesn't make him sound legit. Oh, I guess I made him angry. Okay, well, that sucks. So I'm going to try to mix things up a little bit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that intro. Uh, try to make things a little funny because you, can, you can't go wrong with a little laughter. But anyways, uh, moving forward. Um, so Math, Matthew, who, ho, who, my apologies for your name. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but anyways. He made a video on Hylian and he made a pretty good analysis. I'm going to play a little bit of his clip that he played that I thought, you know, I might mention because he answered one of my questions that I had been wondering if the CEO was lying or been over promoting it, but apparently not. So I'm going to play a little bit of the clip and then we'll talk more about the stock. Excel. Now this truck has both environmental and financial benefits, but we'll start with the former. The first concern is probably fuel, and they're gonna be running on compressed natural gas and renewable natural gas, or CNG and RNG for short. And get this, RNG is actually net carbon negative, meaning it is better than zero emissions. Here's how RNG works. Methane is captured from dairy farms or landfills and then turned into a usable fuel. So instead of escaping into the atmosphere, it's reused by Hylion trucks and ultimately emits less carbon into the air than if it were to just be released directly from the dairy farms and landfills. It's actually better for the environment for you to drive your Hylion truck than to not drive it. But Matt, what about hydrogen fuel cells? That's the future. Don't worry, Hylion will be eventually competing in the hydrogen fuel cell space, but they are very smartly going to wait until the hydrogen fueling infrastructure becomes more available. Until then, Hylion will just use the already established infrastructure of 729 RNG and CNG fueling stations currently scattered across the nation. In other words, they'll let companies like Nikola absolutely burn through their cash by developing the hydrogen fuel cell infrastructure. Meanwhile, Hylion is out there wheeling and dealing, building business relationships, building market share and brand recognition with their R slash CNG trucks. Then once the hydrogen fuel cell infrastructure is in place, guess who's coming out with a hydrogen fuel cell truck and guess who didn't have to spend millions to build the hydrogen infrastructure. Okay, I'm gonna end it there, but as you can see, RNG is actually good for the environment, renewable natural gas. I didn't know that. I thought that was pretty interesting, uh, but my guess is they're probably gonna use natural gas versus renewable natural gas more, simply because natural gas is a lot cheaper, maybe. I don't know, natural gas is pretty damn cheap right now. Uh, I don't know about renewable uh, natural gas, but that's still pretty good. I mean... So far, I haven't found anything negative, but I know that if the stock price keeps running up, there's going to be short sellers that come back in and try to bring it down. So right now, the market is green. So if the market was... So when... At 4 p.m. when I started this... Before I... When I was starting to make this video... The market was red, but now it's flipping green. Greg Manorino is saying that the market won't crash, and this is a buying opportunity. If the market is green tomorrow, there might be a sell-off in in Shell, but I highly doubt it. There has just been so much media coverage on uh, on uh, Hylion uh, over the weekend that it would make absolutely no sense absolutely no sense for a uh, Taurus acquisition the shell company to fall in, in price because there was just simply the CEO came out and he talked about it Math, Matthew uh, who a ho or whatever his name is his last name is he came out and talked positively about uh, Hylion so I think that Hylion is Probably going to be super green tomorrow. This video is actually going to be released tomorrow. I'm just pre-making it right now because 
pre-making and editing videos take a long time. So anyways, that's it for this segment and now we're going to head back to my face. So this took me a lot of work to do and I would appreciate a thumbs up for this video. And also, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button. So let's talk a little bit more about what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow the market is going to probably open green simply because 3000 seems to, sorry, the SPY at 300 seems to be a good support level. So my expectation tomorrow is green. With all the media coverage, I'm expecting highly on to be green tomorrow. And on, on Monday is also going to be a very interesting day because why? Nikola is going to be releasing the uh, badger, so the car badger, like I'm going to post an image right here, uh, the truck badger. So uh, if you are interested in pre-ordering, let me know in the comments below. I'm probably not going to pre-order. I already pre-ordered the Cybertruck, which I am very, very interested in, you know. I, I can't wait for that to come. Uh, I think that my channel will blow up once I have the Cybertruck. But, you know, I might not. It all depends on how much money I have when the Cybertruck comes out. But I'm very interested in the Cybertruck. In Canada, we don't really have any hydrogen stations, but we do have electric charges. So I'm not going to pick up a, a Nikola Badger. But if you want to comment down below which one you want, the Tesla Cybertruck or the Nikola Motors, I bet you almost everybody wants the Nikola, what would rather prefer the Nikola truck over the Cybertruck simply because it looks more modern while the Cybertruck looks kind of like a video game uh, truck. So that's the reason why I think a lot of people are going to be picking the Cybertruck over. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the Cybertruck. And I can't wait until they release the Cybertruck. I think it's going to be extremely exciting. Um, Nikola, so let, let's discuss the million dollar question. Will... Uh, Will Hylion make you a million millionaire like Dr. Evil says? That Dr. Evil says that Hylion will make you a millionaire. Do you believe that? Do you believe that Hylion could be worth twenty billion dollars? If if we may, if Hylion was worth twenty billion dollars, my estimate is the stock price would be around a hundred dollars. So even if you bought at let's say twenty five dollars or thirty dollars, you can still potentially make. 3x your money. So the lower you buy, the better. If you bought it at $20 and the stock price goes to $100, you basically 5x your money. If you buy the stock price at $10, then you 10x your money if it goes to $100. It all depends on the hype uh, and big, big money. So if big money decides to push up the stock price, then it will go up. But this is the one big concern I have about uh, Hylion over uh, Nikola. Hylion has a lot of positive media t attention. So there's a lot of retail investors that are invested in Hylion, while Nikola had very negative media attention. Jeremy came out and bashed it. Uh, Hyperchange came out and bashed it. Probably more like a lot of YouTubers came out and bashed it. Even Matthew is coming out and bashing uh, Nikola. So there's a lot of negative attention in Nikola. So my my assumption is there's a very, very low amount of retail investors in Nikola versus uh, Hylion. Hylion hasn't had... A single negative media attention yet. Nobody has talked bad about Hylion yet. So if you do know somebody that's talking bad about Hylion, post it down in the comments below. I would love to hear what anybody, anybody, like any kind of negative media attention because I don't want to be just a bull. I always like to, you know, have a bear thesis and a bull thesis because you can't just be 100% bull in the market, you will get creamed if you are just a bull. There's always a negative, there's always something negative to talk about 
in a company if it's tesla if it's like for tesla for example you could call it a big giant bubble i would not argue with you it is a big giant bubble the the company was worth 50 billion dollars now it's worth almost 200 billion dollars that is a huge increase in value so yes of course it's in a bubble could bubbles get bigger absolutely could tesla grow into its bubble absolutely is Nikola in a bubble? Absolutely. But Nikola doesn't have very many retail investors. It's controlled by big money. And big if big money doesn't want to sell off Nikola, it won't sell off Nikola. You could bash Nikola all you want. But if big money doesn't want to sell Nikola, they won't. So, and honestly, if you compare highly on to Nikola, I would, like, at these prices, I would definitely prefer highly on over Nikola. But these are my thoughts. And, you know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of my thoughts. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Give me a thumbs up. Like always, you know, thumbs up. And subscribe for future updates. And have a great day. Bye.